are sure to tackle the big issues affecting the BVI and the rest of the Caribbean. Searches for answers to today's big questions and gives viewers a unique perspective on developing stories. Follow the big story with me, Kathy Richards, only on GTV. This show is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa Nail and Barbershop, HOV Medical, and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies, and sports. This is The Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards. I want to thank you so much for joining us on today's edition. We want to be talking about how some organizations here in the Virgin Islands and the border field, on the way to Switzerland, uh, are coming together to impact the lives of young people, young women especially, and boys and young men as well. It's International Women's Month. We would have had a special day on March 8th where we did so much recognizing and also inspiring young women and women of all ages, I should say, uh, in so many ways. I want to welcome my guests today, Marty and Kim. Uh, happy to have you ladies here. You started my morning with such great energy because you know that's what it's used and I, I really love that about you but for the sake of our audience I would love you each to introduce yourselves. Start with you Marty. Oh thank you. Uh, I'm Marty Grimink and I'm the CEO of International Connector and we are here this week with our program Your Big Year which is a youth empowerment program. So I will jump on from there. And <laughs> Thank you so much. You. I'm Kim Takeuchi. I'm Foundation Manager at Unite BVI. And we bring people, great ideas, and resources together for the benefit of the BVI and awesome. the future generations. All right. International, international connector. T connector. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. So you're connecting around the world. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the organization. Yeah, 100%. So um, I like to split how I talk about the company, right? We, we spend a lot of our time working uh, from the commercial side with corporations, like your big um, tech companies or governments, and helping them to think about the next generation, how younger generations are impacting their business, right? So a lot of future of work and uh, workforce development, and what does that look like? But on the impact side is that we started uh, Your Big Year to uh, work with young people literally across 190 countries. Mm. And we pro provide free training and, um, and other types of programming that bring youth together globally. Um, and so a lot of times we're, we get to be in person with our training, like we are gonna be this week. Uh, and then other times we're doing virtual groups where it may have you know, youth from say 50 countries all working together. And uh, Unite BVI, we know you're on the ground here in the Virgin Islands. And you guys do not spare a moment to jump <laughs> on board and to do things that really, really impact the lives and in this instance, young people. Absolutely. If there's an opportunity to connect and to collaborate with other other organizations such as Digicel, Rotary, the College, International Connector, um, we that's exactly what we love to do. Unite by name, unite by nature. All right. I love that. Unite by name, <laughs> unite by nature. And the sort of organizations that have come together, the entities that have come together to ensure that what uh, Marty and uh, Kim are going to be talking to us about are Digicel, like you would have mentioned the bigger better network in so many ways it's not only about the connectivity and providing telecommunication services but they go beyond that to make sure that they are excellent corporate entity in the, the ter ter in the territory and i'm going to shout out mara and alex alex is sitting right inside the studio here <laughs> <laughs> they have been on the ball and system you know we gotta impact lives in in so many different ways that we could it's not all about not all about the service we give with uh devices and, and making you keeping you connected mm -hmm. <laughs> but they also do their their corporate uh, diligence unite bvi we have the rotary club of tartola the the most senior uh, rotary club in the virgin islands jumping on board with this uh we have like you said hlscc so it's all going to be happening at hlscc so if you could tell us 
what's happening this week <laughs> at the college. Absolutely. So um, I'm actually here on the island with uh, Rachel, who uh, runs our program. And we're going to be working with um, youth doing full day programming that um, is very interactive and it teaches them all about um, how do they go out in the world and present themselves? What are they good at? How, what are they passionate about? How do they start talking to professionals and bring that together and find their agency on what they want to do in the world? So we really spend a lot of time looking at, you know, how do we create that self-actualization -actual with young people? and leave them with really tangible skills about how they can start, whether it's they're looking for a job with a corporation or a local organization, or whether it's an idea that they have that they want to initiate. Mm. Well, to understand most times uh, how, how, how persons operate, the environment in which uh, young, certain young people uh, operate. You said you guys are in New Zealand originally, right? Are you from uh, New Zealand? Rachel is. Rachel uh, is from yeah. New oh, and you are from? I'm originally from the U.S., so oh, from oh, New York and from California. Okay, so it's yeah. an international uh, yes. platform where yes. you're from different. Hi, Rachel. Rachel is in the studio too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A bundle of energy. <laughs> and so you know to get a feel of how you deliver and what you focus on require you interacting prior to now have you been to the bvi before yes um i love the bvi so we've been coming here for about five years now uh, we were originally working in puerto rico on a number of connectivity projects after uh, hurricane maria came through that island and working with communities to actually figure out instead of us or any organization um, putting their ideals on, an, or on a community, we actually went in with a framework that allowed communities in Puerto Rico to voice what they needed after the hurricane decimated the island. And that is actually the core of what we do. It's really not about us. Um, and we quickly look to have um, people learn this type of training because it's their own um, self-agency and they customize the program and then they take it out to the community mm -hmm. so it will always have a really localized feel to it mm -hmm. and we're here just to learn and we're here to just listen to what people are saying and help build that um, you know bigger and more enhanced so that that's the type of framework you're working with as well here. yes yeah mm -hmm. we call it a, a community participatory model mm -hmm. and so it's really um, always about the voice mm -hmm. and when we were talking a little bit before about how and why we work with these big corporations or governments it's the same thing we're really good at like listening to what young people are saying and how do we help them voice that directly mm -hmm. to the leaders that they can impact mm -hmm. so that is always our Okay. For Kim, you, Unite BVI sits in a great space where more than anything, what you do focuses a lot on interacting with young people. I know you are integrally involved with YEP and so many other organizations. Where, where is that void do, that you see that would make a, that, you know, coming with this team now, that would make a great impact with this great big group of young people that they're going to be working with. Yeah, I mean, we really see that the marketplace of tomorrow is global. Um, you know, it's wonderful to give exposure to the Islanders, to the international, but also having the international community have exposure to be the Islanders and thinking outside of the box and something different. So we see that there's benefit on both, um, both sides and both communities. Um, we also really do support young people becoming the change that they want to, want to see. Um, so this is a perfect opportunity to empower them with skills to access, you know, marketplaces in Singapore, marketplaces in the States, marketplaces and, and, and opportunities that are beyond maybe what they've ever imagined. Yeah, um, and I think that that's a very key one. The Virgin Islands is, is this big. I can't even say this small. It's this big, <laughs> you know, and there is only so much that you can absorb here. But the, the world, the wider world, is your playing field mm -hmm. to go. A lot of people come in. We have a lot of expats who are here in the Virgin Islands. I'm one of them. I came from another country. And, you know, we learn from every place we can go. And realize now that 
your, your, your environment does not restrict you to where you are mm -hmm. from or where you reside. Uh, COVID-19 has even opened up that, uh, mm -hmm. that, that space to show you that we can do this on a much more global space. And that has changed the trajectory for uh, almost the world over since COVID. Uh, is that something now you see as a way now you have to now try to navigate or organize your, your trainings around? I, that's such a great question. I mean, and I, I first want to say that what an amazing place to be able to work digitally here, yeah. right? Like, it's it's stunning. It's beautiful. It's, you know, it's such a lovely lifestyle. So now, like, being able to not just have a market here in the BBI, but you can connect and work with people all over the world from here, like, that's such an opportunity. And, um, and vice versa. I think people outside of this community, whenever we have youth involved from the BBI and they get to interact with youth in other places, you know, they're amazed by what they learn about um, mm. from here. So I think that inter exchange is so vital today mm. in anything that you do. Okay. Uh, any specific age range that you, you'll be working with this time around? This time we're working with um, high school students and college students because, of course, we're down at the college. Graduates are new or hard yes. students. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, any specific reason why we go with high school and college? I, you know, to be honest, we work with such a variety of, ra of age ranges from like 13 to 30. Um, but for this, I think it's a really critical time when you're trying to, how are you going to get a job? Yeah, or what are you going to do? That, that, that yes. Arena, yeah. And so those, those ages are really critical. And it's really lovely to have partners like Unite and Digicel and Rotary because we're connecting directly with industry leaders. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about. It's really got to be formal formulating this connection point between mm -hmm. industry and youth. And so those are really critical transition ages mm -hmm. and it's a great time to help them, um, you know, figure out what that next step is and let them think beyond mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. A lot of young people today say, I want to have my own business. Yeah. Would this mm -hmm. be a part of your discussion with them? A hundred percent. It's really about, um, it, opening their ideas to the possibilities. And it's really about opening their ability to talk mm -hmm. about who they are and what they're passionate about. Because it's really not whether or not they open a business or they go directly into an industry job. And most likely, I think, you know, even if you want to start a business, you'll start with an industry job to get some experience. Yes. But you have to be able to articulate who you are. Right. And not and feel the confidence when you talk to an industry leader about that and and pull together those passion, those skills, those the areas you want to impact. Like, why do you want to start a business? And, you know, industry leaders may be really interested in knowing that exactly. you want to do that. Mm -hmm. and, and it's so important to know how to present yourself. Mm -hmm. Be ready because you never know when that opportunity is going to Absolutely. open up for you. Yes. Very often times, you know, me being in this industry, sometimes you turn up to an event where there are young people and you, you try to get them to speak to the camera and every time you would get a, a shy way, you would even be doing things, you see persons hiding their faces. And this is, you know, you, they are trying to sell themselves, mm. but the first thing you cannot even stand, you know, mm. and you, the, the, the thing that bothers me, these devices are what they're on every so often. <laughs> we FaceTime yeah. and we're doing this, we do, but when you want to sell yourself, when yeah. you have to yeah. represent yourself, yeah. represent an organization, mm -hmm. that boldness is not always there. I really, really had to publicly commend uh, two young men who were recently out on the first surfing um, <laughs> competition for the, oh. those young men were Arctic. I'm like, mm, I wish I could have everyday opportunities to put a camera in front mm -hmm. of them. They were like ready. And you know, and th that's the place we yeah. need to have our, yes, not everybody are camera friendly, but it's more than just being camera ready. Yeah. It's being ready to face mm -hmm. an interview, ready to sell yourself mm -hmm. or sell your product. Yeah. Did, do you see that a lot around? Well, absolutely, I agree with you. The devices are 
connecting us, but also disconnecting us from each other. And I think that is something that these skills are being taught how to have that opportunity and make the absolute most of it. One of the things actually that um, International Connector is going to be doing this week is going to the National Science Fair, care of the Ministry of Education. So we're very grateful for that opportunity. Um, when you think of the Ministry of Education and, and, and developing those STEAM careers and STEAM resources, that market is global. It is absolutely massive. So I think these kind of that connection between international connector training and opportunities and the development of STEAM and the development of those skill sets are really going to lead and see the potential of the careers that they could be uh, moving into in robotics, in oh, yes. technology, in all of the wonderful um, opportunities that exist there. I think that's something that we really well, want to What you're going to find there for sure is bold young people. Mm. Yeah, yes, they, yes. They, they can be very, they know what they would have produced and what yes. they, they, how to sell it. Mm -hmm. You'll find, you won't find a shy one. But <laughs> 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 we talk more on a global scale, you know, this is yes. the place that we need our young people. And so I really want to commend all the organizations that would have come uh, come together. Yes, you would be having a one-day session in this instance, which is uh, tomorrow at HLSCC. I think the auditorium is going to be packed, jam, as I understand from Alex. Uh, yeah, Alex and Mara have been doing a great job <laughs> to bring so many people together in one space. And when you, when, when you would have completed that, if five out of 500 <laughs> would have been impacted, you would have done great because mm. each of those five goes back yeah. and they are able to inspire others. But every single person in every event, I always believe, always walk away with something. What is the most beautiful story that you would, you can recall <laughs> having had one of these sessions? Oh my gosh, there's so many, to be honest, but... Um, I have this <laughs> I know, I'm like, which one? There's so many. <laughs> um, I, I think for me, actually, it's a lot of the simple converse. Yeah. yeah, the yeah. simple comments, because when you see their eyes light up when something starts to dawn on them and the dots start connecting for them, mm -hmm. those are the moments that really draw me in mm -hmm. uh, because you can see it in action. And that's the part that is really exciting. So you know it's, you know, again, like what you said, like you don't know what people are gonna walk away with and, mm -hmm. and um, but you do see it in the middle of the, the, trans the uh, transformation that they have. Um, but we've just seen so many youth all of a sudden from very diverse backgrounds or backgrounds with no resources, with, you know, no connections, no, um, no peer role models or, or community role models, all of a sudden at the end of it, start to articulate, no, I want to, I'm going to go into a medical field or I'm going to go, you know, create an a role. Yes. <laughs> and, and it's I like, like that. to the moon and back. Yeah, yes. why not? <laughs> it's that simple moments and you're, and you just get chills because, mm they are now thinking big and you want them to do that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, what is the most impactful thing that you can recall having been with Unite BV? I, I can I see you all of them. I know. I, know I see all these <laughs> No, I have one for you. I have one for you. There's an incredible woman at the college right now. Her name is Mia Jeffers. And Mia actually started with us. Um, we were doing a mangrove. We helped to fund the uh, National Mangrove Nursery at the college. Mia joined the program as a biology major, I believe. Um, she began interning during a summer program with the college um, with uh, uh, Ms. Susan Zalewski. Um, and she just fell in love with, with mangroves. And now she is pursuing her master's degree at the University of New Hampshire. Um, she's now going to be one of the leading experts on mangrove restoration in the country, who wow. knows, the region, maybe the world. Um, that one opportunity, that one possibility inspired her for the rest of her life and I think that's something that's really beautiful you hear that story constantly um, through professionals you know there were those moments those those sliding door opportunities where she chose to do an internship at the college for a summer program and then changed her life accordingly and I think that's something that mm -hmm. that's what we're looking for here you know yeah. is that and one you know, there spark are so many mm -hmm. stories out there if you if you yeah. walk on the road and you ask somebody you know who would have had an interaction mm -hmm. with a group of young people or even just one they 
there, there are those beautiful stories and yes. you know that's why I love platforms like this where you know we can share these things because every so often all we hear about is the violence and the yeah. despair mm -hmm. but there are beautiful things that Absolutely. are happening and I want to commend you ladies uh, your organizations uh, those two of the cameras <laughs> 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 All the sponsors for, you know, coming together in a time like this to say, hey, we're going to internationally connect. <laughs> <laughs> want to thank you, uh, Marty. want to thank you, Kim, for thank coming out, uh, sharing this great work. I understand it's HLCC tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And as well, you go, you'll be going to the fair. Yes. And I think you'll be visiting two schools as well. Yes. Awesome. Uh, yeah, keep you working. <laughs> 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 Anything you want to say as we close out? You have a moment. Uh, um, we're just so grateful to be here. It's an amazing, um, it's an amazing, inspiring place to be. So we're excited to learn just as much from everybody um, as we hope to, you know, bring some inspiration. But we're so grateful mm -hmm. for our partners, and yeah, thank you to everybody for All welcoming right. us. Yeah. All right. Great. Thank you so much for joining us, and I want to put out a challenge to. All those young people who are going to be participating, especially in tomorrow's, I'm looking for one of you to call me up and say, I want to come on the big story and share what I would have learned. That's a challenge out. I'm listening out for the call. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of The Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters. And it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official Bank of Paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands.